Gingrich has been called the conservative movement's philosopher king, a bomb thrower, even crybaby during the government shutdown. He's best known as the architect of the 1994 contract with America, which helped propel the Republican Party to its first House majority in 40 years and make him speaker. Those of us who ended up in a majority stood on these steps and signed a contract. Under his watch, the GOP clashed with the Clinton White House over spending cuts, which led to two government shutdowns. To Gingrich's surprise, the public turned its rage on the GOP. It's very difficult to work with a president who seems to be primarily driven by his political advisors to engage in public relations stunts. During the impeachment of President Clinton, then Speaker Gingrich lashed out at the White House. What you have lived through for two and a half long years is the most systematic, deliberate obstruction of justice, cover up, an effort to avoid the truth we have ever seen in American history. What he didn't mention? At the time, he was having his own extramarital affair with a congressional staffer. He's now on his third marriage. Ethics problems dogged Speaker Gingrich, and he resigned, leaving Congress in some disgrace. But then, a comeback. Gingrich spent a decade writing books, opinionating on Fox News, and pushing his endless stream of policy ideas. Sometimes those ideas square with Tea Party values. I think that you, you have to migrate to a system that is Social Security based on personal contributions. But not always. In order to have an American energy policy, we need to replace the Environmental Protection Agency with a new fundamentally different environmental solutions agency. Many Republicans acknowledge Gingrich, the candidate, has some big hurdles to overcome. On the one hand, Gingrich is an ideas factory. He is excellent when it comes to fundraising, and he already has high name recognition. But on the other, he comes with some serious political baggage from his volatile time as speaker, and even some of his supporters question whether he has the discipline it takes to successfully run for president. Jessica Yellen, CNN, Washington.